Okay, hello everybody and thank you for joining me today at this session. I'm going to present you a really cool and interesting topic that you may put into use right after the presentation is finished. I'm not going to promise you a supercars, Lamborghinis and stuff like that. I'm just going to promise you a real stable open source blockchain development tool. But first of all, I have a, co a couple of questions for you. Um, does anybody here try to develop an Ethereum smart contract? Okay, really cool. Uh, how many of you tried to deploy it on the mainnet, on the Ethereum mainnet? Really cool. How many of you tried to deploy it without a framework or a tool? What do you mean by framework? Is it Truffle a framework or not? Yeah, it's framework or tool. Yeah. So you're using Truffle? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So I used to use Truffle before, but today I'm going to present you Etherwine. It's an open source blockchain development framework or you can call it just a tool that saves developers' lives. But to understand why I'm sitting here in front of you talking about blockchain, let me first introduce myself and our company. My name is Ugnian Chikov, and I'm a software developer at LimeChain. Here you can find my contacts, so do not hesitate to contact me if you have further questions about Etherwine. So, LimeChain is located in Bulgaria, and we are here with our CTO, Chris, over there, so say hi to Chris. And uh, we are a blockchain consulting and development company, and we provide services for private and public, public blockchain development, smart contracts development and audit, crowd sales services, and etc. We also have a plenty of blockchain related products, and you can see some of them over here. We have a Lime Tracker that is a solution for. Um, um, how to say, it's a, uh, it's a solution, a very good solution for um, um, supply chain, uh, traceability, uh, and uh, um, transparency. We have Lime, Lime Pay, which is a solution for executing Ethereum transactions with fiat money. And of course, we have Etherwine, that is development tool targeting developers in the Ethereum realm, that you, you know how to use right after this presentation. Before we proceed with the main topics for today, let me introduce you our collabor collaboration channels that I encourage you to uh, join so you can uh, follow us and you can understand the really uh, hot news about Etherwine. First of all, you can see our Telegram community group where you can join and face-to-face -face and chat with the developers that are standing behind Etherwine. You can chat directly with me and the people uh, from our development team that is standing be behind Etherwine. Uh, new members in the community are more than welcome. You can ask us everything regarding Etherwine or regarding blockchain development. We have a YouTube channel where you can follow us. You can find there useful videos of how to's or also uh, Ethereum blockchain news. We have a Telegram group that I encourage you to follow us in uh, uh, Twitter, sorry, Twitter group. Uh, also, you can find our GitHub repository where you can join, open an issue or open a pull request for a feature that you need. And at the end, you can see our um, uh, document page uh, where you can find our um, uh, docs of Etherwine, how to use and what exactly is Etherwine and all the extended features. But first of all, let me uh, um, answer you what is Etherwine. As I said, Etherwine is open source blockchain development tool that is based on Ether's JS library. But how Etherwine was born? Etherwine was born because of all other buggy tools that are based on Web3.js library. Etherwine adds something really valuable for the developers. It adds verboseness during the whole process of development and deploy. What does it mean? It means that every time you um, uh, execute a command in the command line interface, you know exactly what is happening behind the scenes. We have a verboseness during the whole process. You know what exactly is happening uh, in um, order to support your development and to know uh, where exactly you are in the middle of the process. 
Etherwine also is really valuable because it's uh, really um, it's really uh, small and easy to uh, to install. Why developers might use Etherwine? Developers use Etherwine because it's a framework or tool that uh, makes you um, makes you in the process and using uh, a single tool during the whole process. Uh, you, you don't have to uh, search a tool for compiling your smart contracts. You don't have to search a tool for developing your smart contract, or you don't have to search a tool for deploying your smart contracts. What Etherwine can do for us? Etherwine can set up uh, a project for us, and for me as a developer, this is really important. As I as I'm starting using a new technology, I always spend a couple of hours searching for how to set up the project, how to make the environments, and how to do all the stuff that I can start on. Etherwine can do this for you by just writing a single comment, and I'm going to show you uh, in a couple of minutes. I have a demo for you prepared. So I'm going to show you uh, really in live how you can set up your project for just a second. Etherwine can compile our smart contracts. Something more, if you go into the documentation, you can see all the extended options for the compilation. You can use uh, different saucy versions, you can compile different smart contracts, you can compile even smart contracts that are not loaded in your project. Etherwine also can um, deploy our smart contracts, and you can deploy just with a single command. Something more, Etherwine can run a local blockchain development network for you that you can test all of your smart contracts. This can be done, again, with a single command. Something more, this local um, blockchain development network comes with 10 static accounts that every time you're starting this blockchain network, they are the same, so you can use it in your projects. You don't have to change uh, private keys and addresses, and these accounts are full loaded with billions of ethers. This is really useful when you're making a project for ICO and you have to test it, for example, you don't have to worry that you will run out of ethers. You have 10 prepared accounts with billions of ethers loaded. Etherwine can test your code. Uh, you can run uh, unit tests uh, as you can run unit tests in, and write run it, unit tests as you can write unit tests for, tests for all of uh, your other projects. Etherwine uh, has a cloud coverage option, so you can check what is your cloud coverage. That is really useful for uh, developing smart contracts. The main benefits of Etherwine uh, are that uh, you have a single tool doing all of this stuff. You don't have to browse through the tools and use different tools for, for all of these steps. Uh, something more, it's stable. Uh, we have more than 96% cloud coverage of the library. If you go in the GitHub uh, page, you can see these uh, uh, numbers. So uh, it's open source. All of you can participate in the development, so we encourage you to join us in our community groups, open issues, comments about some features that you need. We encourage that. Uh, and. Uh, also, one of uh, the biggest main benefit is that actually you can use it for all of your um, Ethereum uh, uh, projects. As soon as uh, we are planning to uh, release some cool features that I'm going to comment after the demo, and you will see what are the really main benefits of Etherwine. Uh, the features, so uh, I'm going to present you how to install Etherwine just with a single comment. Uh, I'm sorry, how to uh, init a project. I have already installed it, but you can install it with just a single command. Just run NPL, npm install etherwine with a global flag, and depends on the network connection here and your hardware speed, you will have etherwine in just a few seconds. So I'm going to present you how to, comp uh, to initialize a project, and I'm going to comment what this project has. You will see that the initialized project has everything for you needed to just start developing Ethereum smart contracts. I have an empty folder here prepared for the demo. You can see that it's empty. 
I'm going to uh, write the ether rhyme init comment, and you will see the verbosness process that I told you earlier. It's really working here. You see what is happening all the time in the console. Depends from the internet connection, it may spend some time. We hope to be really fast. OK, uh, I will wait 10 more seconds. And if the internet is still so bad, I have already uh, generated another project that is prepared for you if the internet fails. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, OK, we're here. Thank you for your patience. OK, now, I'll, now I'm opening the already generated uh, project with Tether Rhyme. So you can see we have a couple of stuff here. First of all, what are you going to have? We have a contract <coughs> folder. Hmm. Looks really interesting. I have a contracts folder already, so I don't have to think where I have to put my contracts. They, maybe they will go here. And I have a line factory contract. Interesting. I have a really finished contract that is ready to be test, compiled, and deployed. OK, cool. I have a deployment folder where I have a deploy.js script. Here you can see that I have already a deployment scenario. This is the, um, the file that you can um, put your deployment scenarios. For example, uh, maybe I will have to zoom a little bit. And I will hide this one. You can see that I have a deployment scenario that I'm making a deployer that is a new instance from Etherwine, uh, Etherwine Ganache Deployer. What this deployer does? This deployer knows about your local network, your local blockchain network that you can run with a single command. How you can run this blockchain network? I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to, to open a new tab. So I'm going to write at the rhyme ganache command. You will see that I started a blockchain local development network that is running already on a local host with this port number. And I have 10 predefined accounts ready to be used. Something more, this Etherwine Ganache Deployer knows about this network on this port. So you can deploy your smart contract with just a single command. By default, it used the first account. But if you go into the documentation, you can see all the different uh, extended features that you can give to this deployer and these networks. You can start uh, this blockchain network on whatever port you want. And you want to, uh, and you can make your deployer to deploy on uh, whatever port you need and using whatever of the 10 accounts you need. So this is for the deployment scenarios scripts. I have a test folder that you can see here. And it's uh, really cool for me that I have just an example uh, test uh, file where I can see that I have already test scenarios about my smart contract. So as you can see, this is a good starting point for you to start developing uh, an Ethereum smart contract, something more. You have everything here prepared to be compiled, tested, and deployed. And I'm going to show you how. First of all, I'm going to compile my smart contract. I'm going to write that I'm compile. And you can see the verbosness process. My compilation finished successful. I'm going to deploy my uh, smart contract using just the default, set, the default settings. And I'm going to deploy it on my local uh, blockchain network. OK, you can see the verbosness process and the report after the uh, deployment script finished successfully. You can see that my contract with name Line Factory has been deployed 
successfully, I have the transaction hash and I have the result that is really the address of the smart contract. Something more. Example that I'm, uh, for example, uh, imagine that I'm closing this now. Uh, it's finished uh, the, um, uh, the um, deployment script and I, I'm closing it and I'm going to, um, to home. And then I start to think, oh, what was my address of the smart contract? This is my local network. But uh, for example, imagine that I'm deploying through uh, our favorite Infura service to the main net or to some of the remote test networks. I can, every time I want, I can uh, show this report by ether one history command. We have an ether one history command that you can see all of your report, all of your deployments that have been done successfully. I'm going to test my smart contracts locally with a single command, ether one test. So this will run my unit tests. Hopefully, they finish successfully. And I'm going to show you the coverage command. So as soon as coverage command is completed, you will see again a report with all of your code coverage numbers. Oh, hopefully I have 100 from 100. Good. So here, Imagine that I don't want to deploy on my local Ganache network. We at Etherwime have different kind of uh, Etherwime deployers, so they are ready to use for you, no matter if you want to deploy through Infura service on the main net or to uh, the remote test networks. We have prepared for you a couple of different deployers. Okay. Now I want to talk about a little bit about the future development. We are going to release uh, really soon two really uh, important features. Uh, the first feature is that we are going to provide for our users uh, a, re a ready to use decentralized applications out of the box. What I mean? I mean that you will type a single command in the command line interface and you will get um, a really uh, working decentralized application using um, a really cool use case, a game, a blockchain game, or a blockchain decentralized application that is ready to use. So you will have a front-end application for, with your favorite uh, uh, front-end framework, no matter it will be um, Angular or React or something uh, uh, else that you love. You will have predefined out of the box, ready to use decentralized applications. The second really cool feature that we are going to release uh, is being able to debug uh, transactions with transaction hash. So imagine that you're using um, some other kind of library, for example, a Web3.js library, and your um, transaction is failed. In order uh, and failing a transaction, if you have a, a transaction hash, you can start the bug your transaction and your smart contract using just this transaction hash. Now, I have a special challenge for you, for all of you. Please scan this QR code with your phones. This will lead you to a GitHub repository. In this GitHub repository, you will find uh, README with step-by-step -step what you have to do to experience Etherwine. We have for you a generated project with um, um, really cool feature smart contract that is making a deposit. It's like a bank deposit. We have for you the unit tests and we uh, have the challenge for you to write an in-row um, function in the smart contract, in-row method. So this in-row method would give to the first three people who are deposit to this smart contract additional iters. In the readme, you will find everything you need step by step described. So I encourage you, whenever you are feel free and you want to start using Etherwime, please enter in our, our GitHub repository using this QR code and do the repository uh, and do the challenge. Um, at the end of the steps, you will find that you have to join our um, Telegram community group and you will have to 
post your uh, smart contract address. So I assume that you will develop and deploy your smart contracts using some of the remote test nets, no matter is it Rinky by uh, Colon or Robsten. Now it's time for questions and answers. Any questions? Yes, over there. Yeah. Uh, why Wait for the microphone, please. Thank you. Uh, why do you need the uh, internet to, in to init a project? Uh, and, because and we are installing SOC library. Okay. okay. Yeah. And why do you wrap uh, Ganache? Uh, we wrap the Ganache, but we extend the Ganache uh, because we need more uh, money in our accounts and we are making our own. Uh, 10 predefined accounts that are full with ethers, different number of ethers than the, the ordinary ganache. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, hopefully, I will see you in the community. Do not hesitate to contact me.